Mark Gordon with GoldenTigger.com on Wednesday, November 14th, 2012 with a gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the NASDAQ composite down about a third of a percent today. We have been riding this lower trend line, which came into effect, kind of got a little acceleration here, but came into effect in September and then uh, uh, made even a steeper leg down here uh, since uh, around the beginning of October. And now going into mid-November, following it down on the low side, uh, kind of locked in on a downward uh, uh, slope here. Uh, not a great sign. We are underneath all the key moving averages here. Definitely a, a, uh, a correction going on in the markets. Here is your 200-day moving average. This black dotted line. Your green dotted line is the 100-day. And your blue line is the 50-day. Your red line, of course, is the 21-day. Steep drop on that, uh, rolling over on the 50, and uh, starting to flatten out on your longer-term key moving averages. Uh, so nothing good about uh, this. Um, everything kind of locked in uh, to the downside. Uh, a couple things that might change the game uh, would be a uh, move above this 200-day moving average, a move above this upper trend line. Those are the first things we need to accomplish. Uh, other than that, we are locked into the downside. When we move to a weekly chart, uh, we're down about 1.1% uh, on the week. You can see this move. Uh, we topped out in early September, and it's been downhill ever since, slicing through all this previous support, uh, even taking out uh, um, uh, a little bit of support down in this area. We still have some challenges to come at around the 28.40 mark here. Um, but uh, you know, coming into this congestion zone might give us a little bit of breaks on this uh, downward fall here. Um, let's, uh, let's wait and see, though. Uh, otherwise, we just sit back and watch it come down. Um, you don't want to really go short. The only time I would go short on this mark is if we get a rally back and we get some stalling uh, up around this uh, blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. Other than that, uh, I think it's just a, a wait and see uh, a thing here until we uh, get rid of this corrective leg in the market. Now, the metals, on the other hand, have been performing quite well despite this market weakness. Uh, you can see that we were in a downtrend that started in early October, topped out here on the GLD, the gold ETF, at 174.07 uh, in the beginning of October, and uh, had a leg down. And then what happened is uh, we broke this trend line here uh, around the first of the month and uh, then uh, pulled back uh, and came down here, uh, got some support down here at the intersection of these key moving averages, and nice rally back up. Now we're drifting sideways uh, after coming up against the 50-day moving average here on some light volume. This is very constructive. Um, I would say that uh, uh, you know we could be setting up for an assault uh, on this 50-day moving average, getting support here at the 21, this red line here, uh, for a move above uh, this average. And um, you start seeing a couple of days of closes above the 50-day moving average, and I think we're off a foreign assault on the 174 zone again. Uh, so very constructive action, uh, some big volume on uh, the rebound up off of these moving averages. Great sign there. That shows uh, uh, some investor interest. So things are looking good uh, on the gold. Uh, looking at a weekly chart of the gold, uh, we can see here that, uh, that uh, we're only down about a, a tenth of a percent on the week. Very tight close here. Uh, you can see the cup. Here is our handle. And uh, you can see us fighting this battle, trying to get up over this blue line, the 10-week moving average, which corresponds, of course, with the 50-day moving average. You can see the support along this 100-day line, this green dotted line actually the 20 week on this chart. So uh, we do have some support uh, gold setting up for an assault to get above these key moving averages. And here is a monthly chart of the gold. You can see the cup with the handle right here. You can see us clearly getting support at this 20 month moving average, this green dotted line. Uh, this is your line in the sand when it comes to uh, uh, bullishness in the gold market, which we have remained above even during this correction, we had a close right on it here, um, uh, you know, earlier uh, in the year, at the beginning of the year, but have managed to stay above it. And now we're putting in this sort of handle area here. 1798 would be a great number to get above. And uh, then we could challenge the, the uh, previous highs. We got to 1923 uh, over here uh, in uh, the spring of uh, 2011 on a big move. And of course, a big move down, and uh, but uh, uh, drifting sideways here. A 20.5% correction, 
uh, I believe we're in about the 14th month of this correction. Average uh, have been, uh, we had a 19 month correction here. Uh, we had a uh, 17 month correction here. So, uh, you know, maybe a few more months to go before we uh, take out this high. Um, you know, they, they usually last, uh, uh, you know, a little longer than this one here. So uh, just kind of biding our time here, moving sideways, good action on the gold. Looking at the silver up over 1.2% uh, today. Nice little move. Again, coming down, uh, testing support at the 200-day moving average is blacked out of line. Rebounding, got a little volume there. Um, coming up uh, here and light volume as we kind of drift sideways. This handle here is not as uh, defined uh, as the uh, the handle in the gold. Uh, we like it when they actually move down a little bit. They drift down slightly on low volume. This one is kind of wishy-washy. Kind of took out the high here yesterday. May net a little new high here today briefly. Um, but uh, uh, grinding higher, possibly coming up here uh, to get a little closer to this 50-day moving average uh, uh, for an assault on it. Um, we might uh, uh, grind higher here and then put in a low volume little pullback here and then make an assault on it. Don't really know. I just like the action here, breaking the back of this downtrend. Uh, we were in this channel coming down that started at the 1st of October, and now we've moved sideways and we're grinding sideways with a slight upward bias. So, liking the action here, uh, uh, getting support here at the 21 day moving average, which is starting to hook around on us. It's a good sign. Uh, you can see here, I'm going to scroll down here to these indicators. I use these as sort of secondary uh, indicators, um, <clears throat> but um, uh, you can see the relative strength of the SLV versus the S&P 500. So that's going into new highs. That's a great sign here. You can see the crossover of the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. Uh, when the, the uh, black line gets above the blue line, the black line is a faster moving line, gets above the blue line, that is a great sign. Um, <clears throat> the last time we did that was back here in August before we started this massive run higher. So this is a great sign. Uh, our stochastics are down here. Um, <clears throat> they are clearly uh, uh, rocketing to the high side. We are in the overbought territory right now. Um, if we can stay above here another couple of days, we'll be what's called locked in, and that's when you can get a big move uh, in the uh, silver as well. You can see we got locked in here above 80 uh, for our big move to the upside. So lots of things are looking positive uh, for silver uh, to, to possibly make a big move here. A um, little early to tell. Uh, expect a pullback as we challenge this 50-day moving app. Weekly chart of silver up uh, a little under 1%. Uh, you can see the cup. Uh, here's our handle. And now here's another base forming here, uh, starting to move up, uh, uh, starting to hook up here. Uh, you can see the 10-week moving average. You can see support down here at the 20 and 40-week moving averages. So a uh, little bigger picture here on the silver. Uh, you can see the positive uh, basing here. When we go to a monthly chart of silver, uh, you can see that we topped out at almost $50 here back in early 2011, and it has been a battle uh, ever since that. We have a 47.72% correction uh, from the very top to the very bottom. Very, very uh, uh, steep correction. Not as steep as our 61% correction back here uh, that topped out in the beginning of 08 and lasted for two years. 31 months, actually. Uh, before we took out the high here. Um, we had a 19 month correction here of uh, 37% and back here uh, 04 to 06 we had a 34% correction 21 months almost two years. So these corrections uh, when they make this dramatic high uh, usually comes in a very fast move. Uh, we make a dramatic high then we base for quite a long time and then boom again. So. Um, Let's keep an eye on the silver, still below the key 20-month uh, moving average, this green line here, uh, putting in a bit of a handle here on this uh, sort of uh, cup here, kind of a base-on-base -base pattern. Uh, taking out 35.44 would be a great sign. Love to see that, um, getting some support down here at the 10-month moving average. So silver basing still, um, getting ready possibly to make an assault on 35.44. Uh, right now we're at 3251, so a couple points higher. Okay, thanks for listening and uh, great luck trading.